Hey everybody, this is Peter Sumetti from Alterna. Um, it's been a tough day today. I just wanted to make this video because I want to highlight a very specific problem that is uh, both good and and bad. And, and what I mean by that is, you know, how can you have a, a good problem? Well, the good problem is the fact that we have a ton of direct orders. Um, that's a problem because obviously it's it's tough to fill them all. Um, I can barely fill them all. I can barely get to them as quick as I want to. To the point that I might have to consider um, hiring a part-timer to help out once a week or something like that um, in the new year. Now you can see over here there's a ton of orders. A ton of orders. So, and this is all we pick from, you know, I'm picking, I'm picking all the comics and everything and putting them in order. This is probably, to be honest, this hole here is probably like a 20th of what I have to actually pack up and ship within like a week or so. That's how many orders we get. Now, um, I want to support comic shops with all my heart. I really do, but it's very frustrating because it's harder and harder to do so because distribution is making it that way. I just got off the phone with the printer this morning, found out that there were some boxes, like when they ship boxes of books like these, right? Some boxes that weren't labeled properly. Now, because of that, they went to Diamond, and now Diamond is going to be fining us hundreds to upwards of almost a thousand dollars in fines. This is this is on top of the problems I already have had with distribution. Um, I mean, Diamond doesn't seem to to care when they mess up and they and they put an issue out that says number dollar sign, like what they just did with Exilium number four. We're just supposed to roll with that. We're just supposed to take that kind of stuff. All right. Now, I, like I said, I want to support comic shops as much as I possibly can. All right. That's why I make the stickers. That's why we have as much as we can possibly do with shops. That's why we sell direct to shops when they want to deal with us that way, get a bigger discount, whatever it may be. It's becoming harder and harder to do so. It really is because we have to think about our business first. Now, this is the second month in a row. I've also seen sh uh, shop numbers when they order a debut issue through Diamond. The things are struggling now to reach 2,000. Now, I've talked with other publishers as well. They're also noticing orders are on the decline. To me, this says that comic shops are going out of business because not as many shops are ordering as many books as they used to. It feels like I'm part of a, a losing fight in some ways to go the route that is essentially going to end up killing the industry, my company, other companies, stores as well. I'm really starting to give some very, very, very serious thought to having a pre-order Indiegogo every single month in 2019 for when we launch new books that are in previews have a pre-order at the same time on Indiegogo just a low goal something like $500 and also have some other things up there too like the hats the shirts whatever else because it's becoming harder and harder harder and harder <laughs> to actually carve out a substantial spot within the current system it's becoming harder to grow readership. It's becoming harder to do all the things that's becoming very easy to do through direct sales. I mean, look at all this this growth. This is literally, this isn't even our cyber sale. And this isn't even, this isn't even a 40th of what Alterna Ween was. All right. And I still have like this whole box and all these boxes, they're all gone. They're all, these are basically books that are gone. These are already two people because they're orders. That's thousands of books 
every single month. Our sales so far for the past six months, and even a little bit before the surge when we got a lot of new readers in August, we're already starting to overtake our distribution sales. How can our direct orders overtake our distribution sales? Now, when that occurs, distribution takes like 60%. We give them a 60% discount so they can pass on a discount to retailers as well. So retailers can make a profit too. That means that we need to sell one book direct for every three that we would be selling to distribution. So if we sell 300 of, uh, let's say, I'll just pull up a book here. Let's say we sell 300 of Psycho KO number two to distribution. Obviously, we don't. We sell like, you know, closer to 1,500 to 2,000 or so. All right, so let's use actually real numbers, right? Say 1,500. 1,500 on Psycho KO number two to distribution. That means 500 need to sell direct for us to make the same profit, to make, to make the same amount of money. That scale is not working in this system anymore. It's, it's something that I've been considering a long time now. And again, I love comic shops, so I don't want to necessarily do this. That's why we sell direct to comic shops as well. But we can't, we can't keep playing in this system that's set up for publishers like us to lose, for, for many, many, many stores to lose because it's non-returnable. It's all these other things involved. It's, it's a system that needs to be changed. It's a system that there needs to be something done. And before, you know, it's like you're on a plane that's crashing, right? You got to put the oxygen mask on first before we can even consider helping comic shops to succeed and thrive with our products and to figure out, is there a possible way to make a distribution system that's a little bit better, a little bit easier, because that's a massive undertaking before we can even begin to figure that out. We have to have a healthier company that is making money without all the other time and everything else involved. Now, I, I don't want to pull out of Diamond or anything like that, but this is something that could supplement because we have shops going out of business. We have consumers, we have readers that cannot get these books because they don't have a shop in the area. It's too far away. Their shop just went under. All those kinds of things. So they usually just they, they pay the shipping, they order online, and that's what it becomes. So I'm starting to give some very serious thought to trying to meet that consumer demand because for the longest time, that's the number one request we get on our order site, orderalterna.com. Number one request I get is, will you do pre-orders? Now, we do pre-orders for the entire year, but we don't do month to month. We don't do title to title. I don't have anything like that. It's more of an overall encompassing, here's the whole year, and you can pre-order it. This is something now I'm going to have to consider in 2019 do we change that system? Do we start doing a month to month? Do we start doing a title to title on the pre-orders? Do we start doing an Indiegogo every month and having a pre-order tier available and supplementing income with that to meet the demand of readers who want to order direct, who can who have to order direct because they don't have a comic shop and in some cases, comic shops will order these books, but they don't order enough. They don't order close to enough. Dozens of times every month when we get releases, I get messages from readers and shops that they're sold out by 3 or 4 o'clock, same day of our books. How do they get more? You got to pre-order more. Pre-order a little bit more. These are $1.50 to $1.99. Some of them, like the Baron Rat one shot here are a dollar. If you're used to ordering five of a number one, order ten. All right. This way you can maximize your profits too. We got something like a Blood Realm here, number one. It's going to go to a third printing soon. 
the third printing. First printing sold out on day one. Second printing soon for the number two. That's going to happen soon. Almost all of our books have gone to second printings. So at this point, we have to think about what are we going to do to survive and thrive and also meet the needs of our readers because they want to order direct. They want to pre-order direct. They, like I said, they don't have a comic shop. All these kinds of things. I love comic shops to death. I want to support them. <laughs> but at the same time, I'd love to get some of that support back for us. Because if I can't, and distribution makes it harder to grow, to do all the things like market to shops that do support us heavy. Because there are shops that do support really, really big. And, and we love it and we appreciate it. And we, you know, we talk to them direct. But a lot of shops, we don't know. We don't know what's going on. We don't have access to that information. So it becomes an issue of we have to take care of what we're doing first, how we're performing, how we're meeting the needs of our customers, of our readers, of the retail clientele that we have. And honestly, if I'm doing all of this direct all the time, I'm packing this. If I'm doing this or if I'm hiring a part-timer to do this, that is... That is time. Those are funds. Those are all kinds of things that can be used better towards allocating time towards promotion, marketing, advertising, etc., etc. But it starts at the top. It starts with a better distribution system that goes to not only comic shops and is a, a ease of use towards consumers, right? But also expanding. Can, can I'm tired of every year seeing contraction within this industry. Where's the expansion? Where's more stores? Get to more stores. If you have comic shops going under, try to get some product. Not all product, obviously. But the top 10 selling issues into different stores. Those dollar issues the, from Image, from Marvel, from DC, from even Alterna. All these dollar issues. Establish a deal with Dollar Tree, with other kinds of dollar stores, five below. Get these things in these stores. I am tired of having this conversation, these thoughts about the distribution system that is failing this industry. I know this is a little saltier than I usually get, and I apologize for that. But it's hitting us at in our business. It's hitting people's livelihoods, and I'm getting really tired of it. Because this industry does not deserve the system that is in place for it. All right, thank you for watching. Hopefully I have a nicer, more friendly video coming at you the next time I'm on here. And uh, again, I want to say thank you to all the readers that do order direct from us. I mean, these are, you know, this isn't just like a one thing. And this isn't just boxes of whatever. These are all orders from readers that are supporting. And like I said, this is a 20th of what I have to pack up within the next few days. A 20th. This shouldn't be this way. And it's because distribution is failing us. All right, thanks again. Thanks for watching.